Let's go to News 8's Jeff Dedarian now. He's live with the emotional reaction from the Traconis family that happened outside of court. Jeff. Yeah, Darren, just a flood of emotion here today. The Traconis family has been here nearly every day to support Traconis. Today, they say their hearts are shattered and they are devastated by this guilty verdict. I'm the mother. I'm devastated and she's innocent and I know that. My heart knows that. A mother's sadness. Raw emotion spilling into the microphones. The jury's decision setting in like an unwanted nightmare. The mystery will continue because to put her in jail doesn't, it's not that, oh, Jennifer appeared. No, we, nobody still knows what happened to her, but she's not the one that knows. The family, united, stepping in front of the cameras, we kept hearing one word, innocent, through all the tears. So my sister will eventually come out. She has to because she's innocent of everything that she's been charged for. I know that everyone wanted answers. I know that maybe the state is happy that they finally convicted her or someone is paying for the price, but she's not the right one. We still don't know what happened to Jennifer. The family also claiming the media played a role in the verdict. My sister is innocent. And this wasn't a fair trial. And you all know that. You all know, look inside your heart. The media from day one, day one, attack us. My sister doesn't know what happened to Jennifer. We want to know. We pray every night for the five children. I met them. I know them. They, were, they are beautiful kids. And we heard from the patriarch of the family, Draconis's father, as the fight for what they call justice goes on. She's innocent, and we will keep proving that forever. I forgive the juries, the judge, and the prosecutors, and God will prevail the truth. The entire family echoing that same sentiment led there by the father. They maintain that Traconis had nothing to do with all this. They say in their words, the whole story will come out one day. Live in Stanford, Jeff Dedarian, News 8.